Hi, this is episode 25 of year two of me desperately trying to be stronger than I was when I first uh, started. So when I first started was way back when, uh, when the gyms first got back open consistently after lockdown. So that feels a long time ago. I'm still talking about it, so hopefully I've got a little bit better since then. Uh, so today is a little bit more back into the numbers and back into the data uh, and talking about kind of progress and, and, and how things are panning out. So just a, a little bit of a recap, using the, the Michael Yesis 1x20 program, been doing that for, for probably nearly six, seven months now, intermittently, so I haven't been able to be consistent. But since Christmas, or around about the Christmas period, I've been much more consistent. In fact, uh, I went to kind of what, mid to end of February now. So uh, just over two months of really consistent training, two if, at least two, if not three, resistance training sessions per week, and now trying to get two, if not three, kind of zone two aerobic based sessions in. So um, I spoke a couple of weeks back a little bit more about uh, a bit of a higher purpose. Um, really just kind of, it's another good thing to think about is this is something that's for my longevity not necessarily so I can live longer but definitely improve my, my functionality my quality of life as I kind of accelerate through the uh, the decades uh, hopefully um, I'm, I'm gonna be good for a long time to come but maintaining strength maintaining muscle mass and maintaining my kind of cardio metabolic health uh, and improving it um, over the next 10, 15, 20, 30 years, that'd be great, uh, and make sure I'm gonna be the, the parent, the grandparent um, that I would like to be. So that's the, kind of a bit of a background. Uh, so double body weight squat was the kind of the mission statement I set myself all those um, years ago, now it's turning out to be. Uh, so let's, am I getting closer to, to that goal? So what I'm really trying to do now is um, accelerate through, accelerate's the wrong word, progress through um, a, a, a prolonged period of robustness training, so I feel like I'm in a really good place to do more high intensity training. So loads at eighty five percent of my one RM and above, or from a velocity point of view, around that 0.2, 0.3 mark. Uh, when I've tried that over the last kind of two years, I haven't been able to sustain that or maintain that for any length of time, and um, I really didn't make a, a big enough impact on progression towards those. It was heavier and heavier weights. Went back to basics and said, right, I need to do something different through advice, recommendations, comments, gone with the one by 20. So how is that going? So what I've got here is, is basically since Christmas, I started back at 70 kilos, being really conservative and um, progressing through. So what I've added this red line into this particular chart that represents the current threshold for increasing weight so if we get past that red line on a given set that's my kind of uh, red light green light so red light green light to move up a load in about five kilo load so uh, that's set at the minute at 0 0.66 meters per second that's the set average so all 20 repetitions averaged out arriving at 0.66 um it took me what seemed like an eternity to go from 85 to 90 it took me 10 sessions to go there um, but I'm, I'm now at, let's have a look, five, five sessions in, I'm almost, I'm almost there. Um, so Monday session this week was at 0.64, because I felt a little, little tired on a Wednesday session, um, but I was only down at 0 0.62, which wasn't a massive drop off compared to maybe how I, how I perceived myself to be training. So now consistently, um, achieving velocities above 0 0.7 meters per second but not enough of them. So whereas when I first started at 90, um, I was in the 0.6s, 0.68, 0.67 typically. Um, so that kind of, when you're above 0.7, I think that definitely says to me, I'm, 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 I'm getting stronger because I feel like I can move that weight. I think I, can, I notice the weight's moving faster um, when I get past 0.7. So um, that's, that's kind of, an indication that I'm definitely getting stronger. My slowest rep is getting faster, so that's another good indication that I'm, I'm, I'm progressing in strength. Um, it's just the proportion of higher velocity reps to lower velocity reps is still kind of balanced towards the, the latter end, so fatiguing more. Um, 
So that's that's a kind of quite interesting thing to think about. Again, I mentioned this a couple of weeks ago. So how you move the first five might be your indicator of strength. How you move the last five is an indicator of your your fatigue, resistance, uh, tolerance, robustness, whatever term you think kind of fits best, really. Um, and in previous programs, I wouldn't have maybe thought about that enough. But basically, you've got to think about, well, I'm not just going to do one rep and go home again. I'm going to do a... a I need to tolerate quite a lot of repeti repetitions at higher velocities to create enough of a stimulus to adapt to and then, and then to get stronger. And it's those last five repetitions, I think, are the key metric, the key indicator that I can tolerate more and therefore I'm less likely to break down when I move up to the 85%. So um, that's kind of why I kind of think about the set, the numbers from a set as a whole, but also then think about where where that number got generated from and understand that a little bit more. Um, so as I, I go up, so what will happen when I get past 100 kilos, so when, I get, uh, so when I'm kind of move up to 100 kilos, I'll drop the, the threshold down to 0 0.6. And then, so I'll have 0 0.6 for between 100, 120. I think at 120 for 20, I think that'll be my decision then to, to kind of break away from the one by 20 program and uh, move into um, higher velocity, sorry, higher loads and, and a few repetitions. That gives me a little bit of time to work about what that program might look like. Um, but that's where I'm, so yeah, so slow, slow but steady. So if you look at that, that um, uh, chart there, so when I first came back into training, I was moving 70 kilos at not 0.6 meters per second for 20 repetitions. And now 20 kilos added to that, so, um, that's a quite a substantial uh, amount of weight extra for across 20 repetitions, 400 kilos. Oh, oh, oh that's okay. Um, and they're moving a touch faster. That, that's definitely an indicator of, of change in physical capacity, change in strength, change in strength endurance. So that means I've progressed and moved far from where I need to be. I haven't yet decided when I will do a, a load of velocity test to t tell where I am in terms of um, proximity to, to double body weight. What I think I promised myself was when I'm, when I'm doing 100 kilos for 20, then then I'll, I'll, I'll commit to doing a load of velocity test. So um, yeah, hopefully Friday session, I might, might kind of just push past the 0 0.6. So then next week, hopefully at some point next week, I'll move on to 95 kilos. So I'm getting there. Getting close to it, like 100 for 20 uh, at 0 0.6 meters per second. I think that's a, a pretty good lick, a uh, pretty good measure that, that, that I'm reasonably strong. And um, I'm, I'm kind of on the on the path. So definitely showing signs of, of, of development improvement, but not quite 20 for double body weight just yet. Uh, the next thing was I kind of highlighted the fact that weight lifting is, is going to be my preferred sport. Hopefully get back on the platform this year and, and do some masters competitions. And um, what I noticed was as I was showing evidence of getting stronger in the back squat, I had, hadn't shown any evidence, in fact, there's, to the contrary, I was getting worse in the weightlifting moves. So at each session I start with three cleans at 70 kilograms or three snatches at 50 kilograms and I measure the peak power in those lifts. So they are power cleans or power snatches depending on if, if you're particularly pedantic about uh, what that lift looks like to me, this is a clean or jerk or snatch. Um, and then measure the peak power, so hopefully that's consistent between days and between um, between sessions. So what's happened over the last probably week, week and a half, is I've started to see that climb again. So what what's different, I couldn't tell you. Um, obviously you can see my strength is increased, I haven't changed anything to the training, the training program is exactly the same. Um, but that is starting to climb out a little bit now, whether whether there's some subtle technical differences I've, since I've started, um, since I kind of pointed this out, I, I couldn't tell because I don't see myself doing many of the lifts and I don't film myself doing the lifts. So, uh, but there's an indication that that kind of is kind of petered out and now I'm, I'm on the climb out of that. Hopefully that will continue and I'll see those, those lifts getting faster and faster and faster as I go through. That'll give me a little bit more confidence and get back on the platform again. So that's where I am at the minute. Hopefully, uh, next week I'll have an update on um, on that continuing to happen uh, and moving up in the weights and, and see what's happening with, with some body composition changes too.